Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today I want us to look at proofs or some useful relations associated with quadratic equations. Viewers, I have a video on how to form quadratic equations when their roots are given. Yes, those of you who have not watched that video, you are advised to watch it. Okay. Viewers, if alpha and beta are the roots of the general quadratic equation, then we are saying that alpha plus beta is equal to negative b over a, and then alpha beta is equal to c over a. And that is if alpha and beta are the roots of the general quadratic equation. This one, yes. Those of you who have watched that video, you understand why alpha plus beta is equal to negative b over a, alpha and beta is equal to c over a. So those who have not watched it, we advise to go and watch it. Okay. Now, you can say that if alpha and beta are the roots of a given quadratic equation, form equations whose roots are maybe alpha squared, beta squared, alpha cubed, beta cubed, alpha raised to the power 4, beta raised to the power 4. So viewers, to form those quadratic equations, you should be able to write some of these identities, like alpha squared plus beta squared. It's equal to alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta. Because in that video, I told you that if the rules of any quadratic equation are known, you, to, to get the quadratic equation, you just use s squared minus sum of roots, sum of roots x plus product of roots, product of roots. And you are going to get zero. Do you see it? So it means that if you are given a question, if alpha and beta are the roots of a given quadratic equation, form a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha squared beta squared. You see, when you are looking at the sum of roots, this will be the sum of roots, and you should be able to write something like this. If they say that you should form a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha cubed beta cubed. You should be able to write something like this alpha cubed plus beta cubed is equal to alpha plus beta all cubed minus 3 alpha beta to bracket alpha plus beta. US, why is this equal to this? So today I want us to look at why these relations are there. One, the first one. Now, US, look on the board. Look on the board. When you have alpha plus beta, all squared. When you are asked to expand this, you are going to say alpha squared plus this time this, that will be alpha beta times 2, 2 alpha beta plus the last one squared, beta squared. Are you seeing it? Now, viewers, if we decide to make alpha squared, beta squared a subject, then it's going to be alpha squared plus beta squared. It means that I'm going to take this to the other side. We'll be equal to alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta. So this is one of the useful relations associated with quadratic equations. If they say that if alpha and beta are the roots of a given quadratic equation, form a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha squared beta squared. When you are looking at the sum of roots, this one will be needed. This is it, and this is how to derive it. Two. Two. You can also have this. Alpha plus beta all raised to the power 3. When you have something like this. US. Here, if you use Pascal's triangle, hmm? yes, I have a video on Pascal's triangle. You can use that one to expand this. If you are using Pascal's triangle, then this one is going to be alpha cubed. Are you it? Plus, now the coefficient for the next term will be 3. Because if I start time, when you have something like this, the coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. This is it. So, the first of the coefficient is 1. And the power of alpha will, will, be, will start from 3. This is it. And the power of beta will be 0. So that's why 1 times 
And you see, the one times alpha raised to the power 3, beta raised to the power 0, and you're getting this. Now, the next term, the coefficient is 3. So, 3 and the alpha, the power will reduce to 2. And the power of the beta will, will increase from 0 to 1. Plus, the next one, the coefficient is 3. So, 3 alpha beta squared. The last one will be plus beta cubed. So, those of you who have not watched the Pascal triangle, we advise to go and watch it so that you understand this. Okay. This is equal to. Now, here, here, if you decide to make alpha cubed plus beta cubed the subject, because it's going to be like this alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus here the common factor can be 3 alpha the common factor here the common factor with 3 alpha beta this is it this goes here alpha plus beta this is it now if you make alpha cubed plus beta cubed the subject you're going to have so you're going to have alpha cubed plus beta cubed so this is alpha plus beta Okay. It's equal to so this should come to this side. So I'm going to have alpha alpha plus beta always the power three minus three alpha beta alpha plus beta. Yes. So this is very very important. This one. So that when they say that form a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha cubed and beta cubed, when you are finding the sum of roots. This will be needed. Use it. Alpha plus beta be known. Alpha beta will also be known. Yes, yes. Now, 3. Alpha squared plus beta squared. All squared. Now, we have on the board. When I ask to expand this, then you raise this alpha squared to the power 2. That will be alpha raised to the power 4. Plus this times this times 2. So I'm going to have 2 alpha squared beta squared plus beta squared raised to the power 2. That will be beta raised to the power 4. I see it. So that will be this way. Now, so if you decide to make alpha raised to the power 4, beta raised to the power 4 the subject, then it's going to be alpha raised to the power 4 plus beta raised to the power 4 is equal to. This one should come to this side, and when it goes there, it will be negative. So I'm going to have alpha squared plus beta squared all squared minus 2 alpha squared beta squared. I see it. So, viewers, you know that alpha squared plus beta squared from here, look at it. Alpha squared plus beta squared is equal to the whole of this. So you can make a substitution here and see that this one will be so in place of alpha squared plus beta squared, isn't it? In, in place of alpha squared plus beta squared, you can write the whole of this. So when a question is given to you, hmm, when a question is given to you, and you know the value for alpha squared plus beta squared, the whole of this, let's assume that it is equal to 5. When you come here, you just write the 5 here and square it, isn't it? Yes, and then this one will be alpha squared beta squared. And the same as uh, alpha beta all squared. So negative 2 times alpha beta all squared. Do you see? Because always you have alpha plus beta. This is called negative b over a. Then alpha beta is c over a. So these values should be known. Okay, so this is also true. This one is very, very important. And 4. 4. 4. You can also have this. You can also have alpha squared minus beta squared. Viewers, this one is difference of two squares. Difference of two squares. So this one is split away alpha plus beta. So that is alpha minus beta. Yes, this doesn't require any proof. Yes. What this means is that when you have say 5 squared minus 4 squared, what you are saying is that this is the same as. 5 plus 4 times 5 minus 4. Now let's check it. 5 squared is 25. 4 squared is 16. 25 minus 16 is 9. Now let's go to the right hand side. 5 plus 4 is 9. 
times 5 minus 4, which is 1. So that, that would be 9 times 1 to 9. So it means that this is true. We call this one difference of two squares. Yes, difference of two squares. So this is true. Now, 5. 5. 5. You can also have this. You can have alpha minus beta all squared. So this relation is true, be the checked one, so you need to know this. And I'll show you how you can derive them. Have you seen it? Yes, so this is also true. Alpha minus beta all squared. Now if you are doing the same as alpha squared, and this times this, times 2, so that would be negative 2 alpha beta. And then the last one squared, plus beta squared. Have you seen it? I need the same as alpha squared plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta. And you guys, you see alpha squared plus beta squared is the same as this one. The same as alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta. Do you see alpha squared plus beta squared is the same as this? So minus this 2 alpha beta. So you're going to have alpha plus beta all squared minus 4 alpha beta. Are you seeing it? So this is alpha minus beta squared. Alpha minus beta squared. Alpha minus beta squared. So it means that alpha minus beta squared is equal to this. This is also very very important this one so this is true imagine you see what alpha minus beta is equal to square root of alpha plus beta all squared minus four alpha beta this is so this is the same as this this is so these two very very important yes so that anywhere you see alpha minus beta you can write this alpha plus beta is known Alpha beta is also known. Isn't it? Yes. So if you need this, then you can use this. So these are very important. Now let's look at the last one and bring this lecture to an end. Let's look at the last one. You can also have alpha 6. You can have alpha minus beta all raised to the power 3. Now, if you use Pascal's triangle, then you are going to have alpha cubed. And then the next term will have question 3. So plus 3 alpha squared I see it, times negative beta. Those of you who avoid that video, the Pascal's triangle, this will not be a problem. Plus the next term, the coefficient is 3. Alpha negative beta all squared and then plus the last one will be negative beta all with the power three. Yes, this is how to expand. So this one is going to be alpha cubed minus three alpha squared beta. I see it. Plus 3 alpha beta squared. Because linearly beta squared will be beta squared. Are you it? Yes. So we're going to be this. Minus beta cubed. Remember the beta one. So that is this one. This alpha minus beta all cubed. Yes. So this one is the same as alpha cubed minus beta cubed. Alpha beta squared. Now, if you want to make alpha cubed my beta cube the subject, then it's going to be like this. So this one is equal to this. Then it's going to be like this. Alpha cubed minus beta cubed is equal to. So these two should come to this side. So you're going to have alpha minus beta always to power three. When this one crosses, it will be positive. So plus. Cross the equality sign to be positive. So plus 3 alpha squared beta. When this one crosses, 
the equation is negative negative minus 3 alpha beta squared. That is it. Now, this is equal to alpha minus beta all cubed. Now, here, the common factor here is 3 alpha beta. Are you it? And 3 alpha beta goes here, we're going to have alpha. And it goes here, and we're going to have negative beta. That is it. Are you it? Now, we are still going to At this point, you can see that alpha minus beta is a common factor. So you can bring it out. You can see alpha minus beta. The common factor has come out. Alpha minus beta goes into alpha minus beta raised to the power 3. Alpha minus beta all squared plus 3 alpha beta. Yes, when you expand, you're going to get back this. I see it. That is this way. Yes. So this is alpha cubed minus beta cubed. Alpha cubed minus beta cubed. Yes. And you guys, you see, this is alpha minus beta. This is it. So when you are giving a question, and you are saying that it form a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha cubed and negative beta cubed. Mm -hmm. And negative beta cubed. When you are finding the sum of roots, when you are finding the sum of roots, it's going to be something like this. It's going to, it's going to be alpha cubed plus negative beta cubed. And that will be alpha cubed minus beta cubed. So you are going to have this relation. Now, if you write this relation, if you need alpha minus beta, it is given by this. This is it. And alpha plus beta is known. Alpha beta is also known. So you, you put the values here, find a square root to get alpha minus beta and come and put it here. Now when you finish and you need alpha minus beta squared, then you can use this one. Or you can just square the answer you are going to get here and then put it here. Alpha beta is also known. So viewers, these are the useful relations associated with quadratic equations. Yes. Thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shamala Jr. if you have not done so.